Hailing from South India, Sri Manishankar lived some portion of his childhood in Western India. His father was a doctor in the Navy. He's a graduate in business administration and runs a successful company rendering services in visual media. He's widely traveled for business across European and East Asian countries and he acquired knowledge about trade practices, human relations, and life culture across the world. He's a staunch believer of the divine. And as years passed, Sri Manishankar's quest to seek knowledge where science and spirituality merge deepened. This quest to seek knowledge on one hand accumulated wealth of worldly knowledge, on the other hand, both together translated as a social activity in the subject of humanity and mindful insight was thus born. Sri Manishankar is also a philanthropist. He runs a registered trust to provide modernized artificial hands and legs for physically disabled beneficiaries silently. Dear ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the social activist come philanthropist, the man who ideated and curated this event, Mindful Insights, Sri S. Manishankar. Sri S. Manishankar is, will be giving a session on insights on mindful insights. Over to Sri S. Manishankar. Namaskaram Shri Dushan Sridharji. Namaskaram for all the audience gathered here in this beautiful auditorium. It's 5,000 years we have recorded history of mankind. 10,000 years we have derived an evidential history of mankind. And through archaeological findings and research by the scientist, we have 200,000, we know that 200,000 years mankind has existed in this world. We have lived here for a very, very long, long time. We have grown in our, we have developed fully in our body structure from the kinds of Neanderthal. We have now fully grown a uh, human being. We have crossed through various civilizations over the years, over the centuries. Looking back, have we, how much have we developed in our intellect, in our mindfulness, in our maturity of understanding, in our emotional balance, how much have we grown is something which each one of us will have to ponder upon. Having access to any good thoughts gives us a new opportunity to better our lives. And this is exactly what we at Mindful Insights are wanting to do, to share good values to the fellow human being as much as we can. And it's, I know it's a very small drop in the ocean, but still, to play our role, we would like to do that. Friends, as a newborn baby, we have been very spontaneous in our outlook. We have been very innocent. Each and every one of us assembled here looking back into our lives. We have not had any enmity. We have not worried about the past or we were not anxious about the future. We just lived in the present and we had a very wonderful life. And even if we cry the next moment, we used to forget. Now, are we like that today? Is, is, is another big thought that we have to uh, introspect. Now, when we see that, it, it's not so. Then, who are we to blame? 
Is it we or is it this world outside that we are living in? Now, let's look at the world. If that is making us uh, very, uh, if that is giving us very, very big problems in living, this world, if we very scientifically look at it, as we all know, it is made up of five elements, and beneath it is the atoms and bosons and quacks, and it all vanishes into vibrations. And there again, we have four fundamental forces electromagnetic force, the gravitation, gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. But for these four uh, fundamental forces, I will not be standing here and we all will not be sitting here like this because the, the cells, the, the molecules with which our bodies and every structure and everything made up of in this room and even in this entire universe is because of these four forces that is holding them together. Now who does all these things? How is this so very perfect from time immemorial? Looking at this, we find that it is, it is a perfect a creation. It is indeed a perfect creation. And, but we somehow perceive it as an imperfect world. Every time we get into problems, we think that because of this world outside, I get into this problem. It, well, why is it so? Now, if we further look at it, we all have three basic traits in us. Uh, we are either inactive, active or transactive. The three, three gunas, which is there in the substratum of every creation, what we say as tamasic, rajasic and sattvic. Now, the balancing, improper balancing of this gives us all the troubles and problems. Now, these three gunas are prevalent in the uh, highest of human beings, highest evolved human being, and as well as criminals, the lowest of human beings. Now, unless we bring about a balance in this, we will not be able to find purpose to this life. Now, when we think about this, we perceive things, things out in the world through our organs of action, and it gets reflected in our mind and intellect, and then we act upon in this world through our organs of uh, action. Uh, so this is how we do it. In the process, we pick up a lot of experiences. We lot of pick up a lot of experiences, and these experiences stack in us as our memories. Or they also form habits. The repeat actions that we keep doing, they all form as habits in us. Now, man becomes uh, controlled by your habits and the memories you have. Although it is said that we can have free will in doing uh, what we wish to do, but then we are mostly controlled, particularly in today's world of uh, social media, internet, chat, GPT, artificial intelligence, so many things prevalent. We are controlled uh, in our activity and habits play a big role in us. Now, if the habits are good in us, we will be able to transform from one level of consciousness to the other level of consciousness if we are able to manage them properly. Now, what is the level of consciousness that we are talking about? I just want to share a small example. Normally, we want to, we, we, we are um, possessive about our, ourselves, our family, and our uh, kit and kin and other things. But when your levels of consciousness grows high, you look things beyond that. Now, all of you would know that uh, Wing Commander Abhinandan, when he was caught by the enemy army at Pakistan, and at the gunpoint, when they asked him to reveal the uh, army secrets, he declined to do so. He declined to do so because his level of consciousness was higher than his family, not thinking of his immediate uh, wife or kid. He, he thought of the country as a whole. His, con his level of consciousness rose to that level. Now, we, we need to find a way to raise our levels of consciousness through our proper uh, habits and uh, memories that we have. Now, if we don't have this, what happens is we get into miseries. We face miseries and for all the negative habits and memories that we carry, the memories, the, the miseries can be of five types. Uh, what we call it as panchakleshas, either lack of knowledge or through what we like or attachment and what we are averse to or dislikes. 
and uh, we identify ourselves separate from this world. Although we have come out of this world, but still we identify ourselves separate from this world, which gives rise to our ego. And then the, the fifth one is, we, although we have come here as for a stay in this planet, we never think of that. We take decisions thinking that we are going to be here forever. By knowledge, we know that it, we, are, we are here for a temporary period, but then when we take decisions, when we interact with people, we have a, we do so uh, as though we are going to be here forever. These are the five reasons why we get into problems, we get into miseries in life. Now, the thing is, we need to get out of these miseries. We need to find a way as to how um, we, we can get to a bigger level. And it is again said that mankind generally uh, walks, goes, uh, evolves in a direction of four stages. Uh, the first stage of gross-minded people will be uh, they, they will look after to quench their hunger and they want to take care of only their health and they are so selfish that uh, they will they are so instinctive that they will do anything for protecting themselves and if you uh, transform beyond this then you get to the level of enjoying this world going around working uh, earning money, take, not only taking care of you, but also we take care of our families. And, uh, you know, we, we have we've taste success in this world. We go around the world to, to enjoy the fauna and flora. Now, this is the type, category of people which are there in the second stage. This is how the mankind progresses from stage to stage. And the third stage, when we are really genuinely, we fulfill or saturate ourselves with our success in life, then we get to the stage where we try to seek meaning for what is uh, charity, what is dharma, what is justice, what is moral values, and how I can be of help to others, how I can contribute to the world outside. All these things co comes into your mind. Now, if, if un only this happens, only if you are being genuine, but there are a lot many people who, who want to do charity with a hidden agenda, that's not what we are talking about. If you, are, if you really evolve yourself, get transformed to the third level, then you know you, you really find a purpose in your life. Then once you find a purpose in your life, ultimately you are transformed to a stage where you really surrender to your creator, where you feel the devotion in you, where you feel oneness with the uh, universe. And this is what is said in our scriptures as Purushartha. Uh, Dharmartha Kama Moksham. Now this is the way through which the, the dharma is said first, actually, uh, because it is, it is given even at a younger age, it is artha kama dharma moksha is, is what in the stages in which we, we progress. Now, we know the roadmap of progress. We know that this is where we have to go. Now, how is it that we have to go? How is it? It's very easy to say, yes, you do this. And then how is it that we are going to do this is, is a question. Now, there again, if you, if you find, if you ask, find out yourself, everyone out here, we are all genius in certain way until we tap the uh, strength in us, until we know our competencies, until we know what our aptitude is. If many people uh, go through this world without finding what their aptitude in life is, you, everyone has a natural quality. By birth, they, they, they have some talents, or by education, they have talents, or by um, experience, they, they build up talents. Now, these are the talents which every each one of us should identify. The moment you identify, your success rate goes very high. Now, the, the four, there again, there are four types of aptitude that is available, that, that is generally seen, is either you want to be of service to others, whether you want to, either you want to serve others, or you are, or you want to um, look into the values of this worldly, um, worldly things and add value to it and do business in that and become a, a trader or a, a contribute through business and then you come up if that is your attitude. Or the third type is, you know, where you are really an administrator, warrior or an adventurous person. If that is an inborn nature in you, that we, we, have, to, we have to identify that. There are so many branches in this, but not necessarily we need to look into this. Then the fourth one is, you no, know, you really look, go into, uh, 
seek in, uh, see, you really seek knowledge and try to share it with uh, your fellow people. You, you end up uh, being a teacher or a professor or guide, guiding the, uh, the people who control this world and who, who people who control the, um, the, the establishment, whatever they are. Now, each one of us have some talent or the other in these, one of these four areas. It's for us to identify this. Now, having identified this, now it, the, 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 the door is open for you to, the, the, the playground is open for you to, to choose your uh, type of attitude that, with which you want to work. You are, it, it is said that your altitude depends upon your attitude. The attitude against, we, we, now we know clearly as to if I choose the right type of attitude, which is again, uh, according to my aptitude, if I choose either um, I, I, I like to work, I like to be passionate in my work, I, need, I rather uh, um, put my focus than on the progress that I have made, then uh, I like to work without any expectations. Uh, is, if that is the way that you, you come up, you evolve yourself, that, that leads you to a very high level in your existence. The another category of people are the ones who want to, to see everything with love and affection, to see everything in, 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 in oneness with, with this world. These are the type of people who are performers, who are musicians, who are, who are um, you know, uh, uh, people who, 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 are, who end up writers. So th this is where you actually have, you develop that amount of faith in whatever pursuit that you are doing. You share your love and then that is how uh, you, you find your attitude in doing anything and everything. Then, the, then comes the uh, type of people who are very discriminative in nature, who use their intelligence. Intelligence is the, the best given uh, gift of, to mankind by God and we have the highest level to which we can use this intelligence. Now, the whatever inputs we gather is our knowledge. We, ha we stack ourselves with a lot of knowledge. And then once the knowledge is, if we are able to recall the knowledge, it becomes intelligence. If we are able to act upon what we have recalled, then it becomes intellect. And out of our uh, intellectual experiences in this world, if we get transformed to a higher state of uh, a maturity, it, that is wisdom. Now, these are the ways through which, now ultimately, whether you are going, whatever routes that you take up, in each and every route, you must have that, uh, uh, that element of uh, in, uh, in intellectual understanding and wisdom, which would take you to the highest level. And the last one is, we need to take care of our body. Body is a vehicle with which we are uh, moving around and we need to know how to do proper exercise and we need to know how to synchronize it with the, the every uh, exercise that we do. We need to know what is, what, what is the good food and uh, dietary conditions that we take. And um, we need to know how to f uh, concentrate which will lead us, which, which will lead us into uh, contemplation and meditation. This is what it is said in this four yogas as karma yoga Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, and Raja Yoga. If, if we are able to, f see, just like that, uh, trying to um, say that, okay, I'm going to pursue Bhakti Yoga, it doesn't really help you without knowing the, 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 the routes through which you, you need to pick it up. We need to be there. You see, for, for example, people who are very level-headed, are, who are very, uh, uh, they, they are always calm and f focused in what they are doing. In the recently concluded IPL match, when uh, the CSK won, we all saw that everyone was shouting at the moment we won. But uh, our Dhoni was quite calm, <laughs> composed. I like that, uh, seeing that video again and again. So this is what brings him success. And uh, this is what will lead us to one, one stage of uh, success to the other stage of success. So if you are to, then if you really get to that level of success, you will be able to uh, overcome your uh, pancha glaciers, which is causing you miseries. You will be able to uh, focus your uh, focus on your perception, what you what you are trying to under, uh, get, capture from this world, and you, you will be able to uh, 
uh, analyze it with, in a better manner and, bat, better manner and uh, express yourself in this world in a, in a much better manner. And this will also ultimately bring a good balancing of your uh, trigunas which, uh, with which we are all created of. Once we are able to find that, uh, 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 the fine tune that our trigunas, then you know, whatever is the situation, we take it uh, uh, in, in a very um, correct, in a in very correct perspective, and we live the life in a beautiful manner. Now, at Mindful Insights, these are the thoughts which we would like to share with the fellow human beings, and um, in, uh, in this pursuit, we we invite very highly erudite uh, scholars to share their thoughts and wisdom with us, and. Um, in, in, in this step, as a first step, we have now, uh, uh, we have been very fortunate that uh, Sri Drishan Sridharji has agreed to come and share his thoughts with us. And uh, like all of you, I'm also very eager to listen to him and then get the benefit out of this. Welcome again for each and everyone who have assembled here and given us this opportunity. Thank you.